In this video, we are going to discuss about the working principle of cooling tower. There are commonly two types of chillers. Air-cooled chiller and water-cooled chiller. Water-cooled chiller uses water from cooling tower to reduce the refrigerant temperature inside the condenser. Likewise, the refrigerant temperature of air-cooled chiller is decreased by air instead of water. The efficiency of water-cooled chiller is greater than the air-cooled chiller as it uses water, which is comparatively quicker and better in decreasing the temperature. Let's see the parts inside the cooling tower. Fan motor. Fills. Nozzle. The water from the condenser of a chiller is entered through the inlet pipeline into the cooling tower, which is sprayed upon the fills through nozzle. The sprayed water is then traveled downwards through the fills. As the fan inside the cooling tower rotates, it removes the air from inside the cooling tower. The fresh air travels through the fills and enters the tower, which reduces the water temperature, which is flow through the fills. The water enters the tower with 35 degrees Celsius will be reduced to the 30 degrees Celsius when it leaves the tower. Thus, the water will reduce the refrigerant temperature inside the condenser of the chiller and then returns to the cooling tower. These processes are continuous. This is the working process of cooling tower.